Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz, I'm Jiaolian Wanru. Today we're going to talk about price elasticity of demand and learner's formula for marginal revenue. So the bottom line is this, marginal revenue is equal to price times 1 plus the reciprocal of our price elasticity of demand. So, eta here is our price elasticity of demand. By definition, it's equal to dx dp times p over x, where x is the quantity demanded. And notice that here, our price elasticity of demand is negative. The reason is that dx dp is always negative by the law of demand. Now, after we write it out, we can rewrite it. So dx dp is equal to 1 over dp dx. So this is the inverse function. So that one times p over x. So I can write the reciprocal of price elasticity of demand, eta to the power of negative 1 is equal to dp dx times x over p. So we can see that I'm just flipping everything around here. Now put it aside, I am going to find my marginal revenue and represent that um, in terms of price elasticity of demand. So I have a revenue function. Revenue is just equal to price times quantity. And remember that my price is a function of quantity demanded. And marginal revenue is just the derivative of my revenue with respect to quantity. So MR is our prime x, and I'm going to use a product rule here. So our prime x is equal to px here plus p prime x times x. That's the product rule. And the second, after I find it, I am going to pull out my price px. So that will be equal to px times 1. This term is px plus p prime x times x over px. You can see that if you multiply this, you just get that. So I'm just pulling out px. And I can rewrite p prime x is just what? dp dx. So you can see now my marginal revenue has become px times 1 plus dp dx times x over p. But this term is what? It's exactly the reciprocal of our price elasticity of demand here. So I can see that my marginal revenue is equal to price times 1 plus the reciprocal of my price elasticity of demand. So you can rewrite that as p times 1 plus 1 over eta. And remember, this eta is negative. So if you're like me, I'm used to expressing my price elasticity of demand as a positive number. Then you can use absolute value, so it will become p times 1 minus 1 over the absolute value of eta. Remember, your eta is a negative number. So that is our price elasticity of demand and learner's formula for marginal revenue. I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.